welcome back to the channel. I'm Warwick and you're watching Gas Techs. Here on Gas Techs, we help you figure out what tools you need to build the dream garage you've always wanted. And today we are unboxing the Griot's King's Pneumatic Creeper 2. If you saw my first video about me unboxing the King's Creeper version 1, uh, you could tell that thing wasn't worth the box it came in. So thanks for tuning in for this episode of Gas Tax. You just watched the assembly of the pneumatic creeper that sucks ass. So I actually used Griot's return policy, sent it back, upgraded to this baby. So let's open it and check it out. Now that everything's unboxed, let's check out what we have. So already just opening and unboxing this Griot's Creeper, I can tell it's going to be a world of a difference to the first one, which is all a good sign. So if you don't know why I didn't like the first one, well firstly the wheels were terrible. Uh, the bolts were too long, they couldn't bolt on right. I'm a heavy guy and I needed something durable. and. Even if I was 110 pounds, the other chair would have sucked. But this one looks like they've solved most of the issues. So assembly seems straightforward. Let's jump on to assembling this baby so I can test it out. So one of the main problems with the first King's Creeper was the bolts were through bolts in the metal frame, but also the bolts were too long and they su uh, supplied acorn nuts. And the acorn nut prevented the bolt from actually tightening. Here they've actually welded the nuts into the actual frame, so that's good. Also keep in mind, two wheels are braking wheels. Obviously it's your choice how you wanna put them. Uh, I think I'm gonna put them on the long side. Just to let you know, it does come with a mini wrench because when you get tight down to the frame, you need a skinny wrench to actually get in between uh, the frame and and the nut. So I always hand tighten these until the bottom and then I will actually wrench them down. So I'll check back in with you as soon as this is done. Alrighty, so the wheels are on. Um, if I was you, I would dab a little Loctite on there if you don't want to keep this. But if you want to keep this around, just make sure these will eventually loosen. That's how things work. So just looking at the base of this creeper, it is so much better than version one. I don't even know how Grios came out with version one, if this is version two, but I'm glad they improved it. You got screwdriver holders here, you got compartments. This is a really great chair. I can tell you now, I'm gonna like this. Next step is simply just drop the pneumatic sleeve on there after you remove the protective cover, obviously, because who wants to leave that on? And then voila. I'll tell you this one is also much easier and quicker to assemble. So let's put it down and take it for a spin. Well guys, I'll tell you now, this one is a night and day difference to the Creeper one. I'm glad they discontinued it. Uh, I couldn't even roll on the other one. Light people couldn't roll on the other one, the wheels were too small. I even bought a set of extra wheels to fix it. And eventually I just decided this thing is a waste of money. So I'm glad I upgraded to the Creeper 2. Uh, it's $119 right now. If you get the bottle holders on the side, it's $129. I'll leave a link below. But if you have any questions about anything else in my garage, or if you wanna see a review, be sure to like and subscribe this video and I'll also be giving you an updated review on this baby once I've used it a bit. Until next time, I'll see you then.